Grace, how long have I been here getting my hair done for? Uh, I remember when you come in with your mom, maybe you are 14 or something. And since then, I've been doing your hair. Now you are growing up, so your mom don't come anymore. <laughs> I remember you telling me I should play basketball. Because how tall I, I was. Yeah, first time I meet you. I said, what sport you play? When the mom said, she's already done sport. She played footy, eh? you know, and now, yeah. I'm, there, I'm a famous girl in my show. Every time she comes, we're so happy, you know. And I'm so proud of you, girl. You do it. Very good. Like 100 years ago, if we started dating, probably wouldn't have been accepted too well. <laughs> so I guess you ask what's changed with women being allowed to play contact sport. It's the same with what's changed with us now in a society being accepted just being together. I didn't want people to think, oh, it's because she plays sport. She's immediately gay. I genuinely just... Um, fell in love with someone that I cared about. Sabrina and I were building my wardrobe and she was like, I've got something to tell you. I'm like, what? And she's like, oh, I've got a girlfriend. And it was just like, oh, okay. Like, you know, <laughs> casually. Some people Absolutely. thought that I would have to have this massive coming out thing. But for me, it was like, um, I've never stopped being attracted to guys or, uh, and I'm, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, Oh, like I a big lied secret. about my whole yeah. life. It wasn't that. It was just one day I had feelings for a girl. It upsets me that I think that some people would fall, make it fall back on the fact that I do play sport and, oh, that was coming. Because it wasn't. Society immediately assumes they're lesbians, mm. um, I guess, until proven differently. Um, but with men, they're assumed to be straight. You know, and I'm sure that's not the case for some of them. I think it's the exact same for men. Um, they're always pressured to feel like they should always be the strong one, always the man in the house, the one that should always be working, have no feelings, can't cry, can't express their emotions. It's wrong. It's wrong to say that men have to be the strong ones, the same as it's wrong for females to say that they can't be the strong ones. I feel like in myself I'm breaking a lot of those stereotypes purely just because I don't think it's a problem. For me, that's exciting because they sh I don't believe that there should be these stereotypes. The whole focus for the footy club has been the 5th of Feb because that's when the footy club starts to play. That's our first game, which is you know, really exciting. And, it's, and I don't have to tell you, it's not very far away. So we wanted to make this more like the home for, for you girls. So we've actually sort of uh, done some things in there. So if you want to just walk this way and have a look at the rooms. And, uh, It upsets me when people don't take me seriously as an athlete just because I'm a female. With the Women's League, for me, it's, it means a lot more than just winning the first premiership. I know I, w I would love to win, but it means a lot more because it's a chance to show that we can play this professional sport to the best of our ability, whether it's better than the men or different to the men. Difference, still a win. Um, and we deserve to be out there and we deserve to have the same chances as the men. When you say it out loud, people laugh because they think it's so stupid, but it's just the way that our society's always been. For me, the Women's League is just a chance to prove that we can play.